Hey Greens and welcome to tasting Japanese food kits. For those of you who don't know, Japanese food kits are pretty much sweet or savory mini kits that they put together for anyone who just wants to play with food. The fun thing about these is that they really do include everything you need and you can make things as you can see here we have four different kits. The awesome thing about these kits is that all of them cost me under three dollars. Uh-huh, under three dollars. Joining me today is my sister Sika. Hello. And since y'all say hashtag feed Sika, that's what we're doing. I'm we're feeding. <laughs> we're feeding. I'm feeding me. I'm feeding me. I'm fe <laughs> Our kids today include. I'm real. I, 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 okay, I can't. I can't contain the Japanese yumminess. Yumminess. I think. Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't think you'd hear me. I hear everything. <laughs> You can't contain the yumminess? That's there you go. <laughs> I can't contain the yumminess. The yumminess. The first kit we have is pastries. We mm. have, I know it looks so good. We custard. have, is it custard? I hope so. I think one of them is like a strawberry shortcake. Then we have some kind of fruit cake. And then there's jelly and cookies and whatnots. How do you feel about this one? Mm. 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 Do we have any savory ones out of curiosity? Not today. Gotcha. If you haven't seen my savory Japanese kits, there's both pizza and hamburger. And the hamburger one actually tastes like McDonald's burgers. Pretty decent. Mm. Pizza was gross. The next thing we have is an ice cream and pastry set. There looks to be some kind of meal crepe. No, meal feuille. Oh, like what's a meal crepe? <laughs> Here's a picture of a meal crepe, absolutely delicious, and this is a meal fei. They look the same, but they're different. Meal fei is um, a puffy pastry, right? Exactly. Yeah. So there's a meal fei right there. And then the third kit is a what the heck moment. Why is this even food? Because we're making hair. hair? And then cutting it and eating it? Yeah, pretty interested. It's strawberry and blue stuff. <laughs> I don't know if this is just like a blue, like is it like a, like a blue stuff? The blue stuff in Japan is usually soda. That's what I was thinking. So, yeah, why is this food and those faces freak me out? And last but not least is a mystery kit. I have no idea what it is. I just think it's some kind of fizzy candy. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> But we're gonna try it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's the spirit. Okay. High five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, for those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I will wave a sharp, pointy thing at you. Apparently, this is our thing now. It gets threatening at first, but then you love it and you will yearn for it. And then sometimes we can do it two ways. And she will wave it. Too much. Give it back. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, that's that's a nice wave. <laughs> Our first kit, crazy poppin' cookin' cake set. I am really excited about this one because we get jellies, we get cakes, and not just that, but Japanese sweets are mild. They're not overly sugary. Right, Sika? Right. The Japanese cheesecake I had was really good. It was very light and it's not sweet at all. Well, it is sweet, but like it's not, you need a glass of milk sweet. Right. Perfect for me. Now I'm curious, do you grains like it when something is overly sweet where you could feel the sugar rushing and taking over your brain? Or do you like it mild? I personally like my sweets very mild. Same. And that's why Japanese cake, look at look at the fluffiness and the jiggliness of those cheesecakes. So good. So delicious. So delicious. So I miss it. Delicious. I do miss Japan too. <laughs> and so these flavors that we're going to have in these fake candies are usually pretty good. They're not gross most times. So I'm really excited for this one. Pretty excited to see it. But in order to do that, we got a short pointy ting at you. Not you. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we just, we just, are you okay? I skipped some steps. You did. <laughs> you know what we gotta do, right? Yeah, we gotta open the box. Yeah. <laughs> on autopilot. <laughs> now this kit is 100% from Japan. If you look at the back of the box, the instructions are in Japanese. I'm for the most part okay. Are we gonna use Google Translate? No. Okay. Okay? Do you have faith in me? Sometimes. Today? I guess. It's a yes. Okay. For now. <laughs> Alright, time to see what we get inside this box. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. Our fluffy cake mix, whipped cream. These are our four fruits. So we've got orange, melon, blueberry, and strawberry. We also get the molds to make the fruits, as you can see over here. Two cookies. We get a piping bag for the cream. We get a spoon to mix. 
and a plate. So our plate was pretty much the wrapping that we cut out. Very cute. And we also get our mixing station. Luckily, even if you don't understand Japanese, the pictures are very detailed. So you know how many scoops of water you need and in which container you put it, whether it's the star one, the square one, the diamond, and all of them are fine. So the first thing we're going to do is cut this part because this is our measuring cup for the water. And so the first thing we have to do is the melon, the melon jello. I am so excited because when they mean melon in Japan, they actually mean honeydew. So let's do a sniff test first. Oh, you opened it already? Yeah, you told me to open it. Oh, I told you to get it ready, not... Oh. Oh. <gasps> I haven't smelled it yet, so is it Oh, good? I have goosebumps. Ooh, it smells really good. Oh, wow. It smells mm. really like honeydew. I'm drooling. Boba. If you've ever had bubble tea... Oh, can I just put my tongue in it? No, don't do it. Oh, it is divine. It really does smell like honeydew, like a very ripe honeydew. I want bubble tea. I know, everything's close everything's now. Closed. So we're going to be mixing two scoops of water with the melon jello. I keep saying the melon, but it's a melon jello. Melon jello. Melon jello. Now we're going to do orange, and the only thing we need to do is one scoop of water. But first, sniff test. Hook me up. Ready? Orange. Orange is my favorite fruit ever. I like oranges, but I don't like orange flavored things usually. Oh, and I do like melon too. Melon's my favorite. <laughs> Does it smell like anything? It smells like nothing. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. That's so weird. My hope is that when we put water, it's gonna smell like something. Next is strawberry. You can sniff first too, you know? Oh, it smells like strawberry. Does it? It's light though. Oh, yeah, that is very faint. Yeah. My guess is once we put the water, it should be fine. Next is blueberry, which is really rare for Japan to have blueberry flavored things. That's interesting. It smells like a uh, blueberry jam. Oh! It smells like blueberry jam. That is very pleasant. And nothing like North American blueberry scented things. No, not at all. Blueberry North American scented things just smell like blue Gatorade. Pretty much. Whereas this actually smells like blueberry jam. Hmm. For the whipped cream, we're taking two scoops of water and we're going to be mixing it directly inside the piping bag. After that, also two scoops, we're taking the little flour, mixing it together with two scoops, putting them into the molds of the cake and the, the fluffy thing, I'm not sure what it is. And then we're going to microwave it for about 20 seconds. A few moments later. You grains can't smell it here, but it smells like just absolutely delicious bakery. The cake- Honestly, it smells so good. So, I watched it puff in the microwave and I was like, whoa, what? Like, what kind of kit makes puffy cake? Japanese one. That's the answer. Are you laughing at me? No, I just think it's freaking amazing. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> so now that everything is ready, it's all about putting it together. So we're taking the melon jello out and then we can decorate our cookies with some cream and those jello looking fruits. Come out easy. What? Oh my god. Oh wow. Look at that. What candy kit lets oh. you do that? No, don't squish it like that. Good for you, cake. Bravo. While Sika's taking the other cake out, do you want this? Oh yeah, I'm gonna need that. Okay, because I, I need to cut this one first though. Oh you you need that too? Yeah. I'm just gonna like this smells so good. A little on the eggy side, but like it custard. still smells, yeah, it smells, smells so good. So now we're gonna cut it in half and then fill that half with more cream. Oh, wow. Here is everything that we made. Who would have thought, Sika, you need to stop eating those little jellies. I'm not eating it. You think I don't see you constantly eating while I'm filming close-ups? <laughs> We're gonna eat yet. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought from a $3 box that we would be getting cake? Cake. Are you excited? Yeah. What do you want to start with? Um, let's try um, um She can't even talk anymore. That's cookie. Is this a cookie? <laughs> yeah. Okay, do you want the one with the melon or the blueberry? Mm, melon. Okay, go for it. Are we trying them at the same time? Yeah, let's do that. Ready? Let's go. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, that is so fruity. That's really good. Mm -hmm. The different textures that we get from the crunchiness and the jelly and the jello and the creaminess of the cream. Mm. What's really nice is that these candies don't become full jelly. They kind of just still melt in your mouth instead of being like a chewing candy. This is really good. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> you want to do the cake next? Sure. Do you want the bigger cake or the smaller cake? I'll take the smaller one. Because it has more blueberries? Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> one bite? One? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Ready? Go. Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The cream is really good. Again, the base of the cake is a little more on the eggy side. It's still really good though. It's really good. So if you don't like the eggy flavor, this might not be for you, but for us, it's perfect. It really does taste like custard. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Holy moly. I love custard. Oh my God. Grains, honestly, in North America, I think if this kit is being sold, normally it's around $6. Whether it's $3 or $6, I definitely- It's still kind of worth it. Yeah, it's yeah. still worth it. So if you do see it in North America for that price, this, this is what it looks like. Get your but when it's safe, donation market and pick some up. Okay, ready for the jello? I've been waiting for this one because honey do. Do you want the side with the orange or the strawberry? You like oranges. So I we'll love orange. All right, there you go. It's gonna slip out. And of it's my gonna fingers. be so slippery. Do not oh, drop it. On. Okay. It's the orange that was slippery. Ready? Oh, it smells suck like boba. Oh wow. Ready? Yeah. Go. Go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It melts in your mouth. Holy moly. Mm-hmm. Wow. I actually really like this kit. Well, this is really good. The last candy kits we did were really gross. These ones are really good. <laughs> Especially the ones that try to mimic Japanese ones, but yeah. are 10, were they 10 or $20? I don't remember, but they were really, really, really sweet. And it was like, we walked into the craft room after and just smelled like fake cherries. It yeah, was it was so absolutely bad. gross. Don't get the North American. I think it, I'll put the name up here. I'll put it up there. 100%. What are you doing? I'm getting the jello. <laughs> <laughs> this kit is 100%. Where did you cut? Where did you cut? Our second Japanese food kit also by Poppin' Cookin' from Crazy is an ice cream one. I'm a little more skeptical on that one because- Really? After that first kit, it was so good. I'm pretty sure that all their kits are pretty great. I think it's just the hype. Yeah? Okay. My, oh, okay, you just agreed okay. with me? Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Usually you're more opinionated. We'll see. After that, I'll be like, I told you so. <laughs> the only reason I'm skeptical about this is because it seems like it's just cream and I just really hope that it's not overbearingly- Sweet? Sweet or mm. even heavy. And my curious question is, does it really taste like ice cream? How cool would that be? This this cool. You can't even see it. Are you making? Are you laughing at me? Yes, I am. Why are you laughing at, at me? You. Look how look look how big my cool. Okay, I I'll can't. bring look. I'll bring it smaller. Oh, and then it's not cool enough. No, I, so you can see it. Okay, grains, you can see cool. Okay, I'm gonna just put my hand under it. It's not moving, and I'm gonna push it towards you. There. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're so weird. Tell me something new. All right, on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you? I'm pretty excited after that first kit, honestly. You're too hyped right now. <laughs> Just let's do it. Don't cry, don't, don't do cry, it. don't cry yet. All right, let's see what we get in this kit. <laughs> Gentle. I don't want to break it. You shouldn't. Oh no! Mini cones. Oh, oh cones. no. That is so cute. <laughs> Is that like the go? Yeah, wafers. Oh my god, is there a bowl? That is a bowl. Oh no. I'm salivating. Oh no. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. Two ice cream cones, wafers, a little cup, and the mixing station. We get two flavors, vanilla and strawberry. Super cute sprinkles. We get a piping bag. And here we get little decorations for our cones or a placemat for our bowl. So if you greens wanted to make a kind of decoration, they do give you little plates and, and whatnots, which are pretty cute. Pretty cute. So we're going to start with the strawberry one. Sika, open it. I don't think it has the same opening thingy. No, it will. Oh, it's Japanese. It will always twist open. <laughs> it's very light. Wow, you really didn't know. I it. had an issue. <laughs> I had an issue? It's not a thing? Don't touch! <laughs> I was wondering where I went. I just yeah. Went. No, why? I mean, it's from Japan, so I won't do yeah, it. Yeah, it doesn't smell very strong. It's, it's very light. Yeah, it's almost not even there. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like that orange that we just did. Once it's poured in, it's gonna smell so nice. All right, so let's pour our strawberry. Oh, I thought we were gonna smell the vanilla too. Yes, yeah, well, smell yeah, the vanilla. Yeah. 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 Don't do that, because this is how you get ants. It smells like the cream we just had. Is it? What are you putting <laughs> in my face? It's like snap. <laughs> oh. You see? Mm. Oh, that is divine. Are, are you salivating? Yeah, I am. It smells so Here we go. So two cups of water in each? One. What? Yeah. What? What? 
So the scoop on this one is a lot bigger and we do only put one in each one, mix it up. And then once it's fully mixed up, all we have to do is pretty much put it into the piping bag and then pipe them onto the thing. But we'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Oh my God, it smells like Nesquik. It smells really good. Oh no. <laughs> Oh boy, she thick. She thick. Well, <laughs> it's very thick, and then we've got quite a bit of white in one side and no pink. No. All right, so the first. Are you putting wrapper under my no, butt? No, it was under your butt. I was trying to take it away. Any excuse to touch my butt? So the first thing we're going to do is this three-tiered wafer with sprinkles. I personally don't like sprinkles. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm looking at the cream in your hands. Oh. <laughs> I wish someone looked at me the way you look at cream. <laughs> I look at you like that too, when you have food in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, she looks at me with such loving eyes. Let me know in the comment section below, do you like sprinkles on your ice cream or your cake? I don't, I don't like it. It usually tastes weird. They it usually always tastes like stale. For me, it's not about the taste. I just don't like something crunchy in my soft food. We don't like it when things crunch. <laughs> no. Pause this video. Recently, so many of you grains have been emailing me that this right now is the perfect time for you to try and start your YouTube channel, which includes editing. And so it's a perfect timing to introduce you grains to today's sponsor, Filmora 9. For those of you who are absolute beginners, Filmora 9 is one of the most user-friendly interface I've seen. When I had one camera angle when I first started as a YouTuber, I really wish Filmora was there. This video editing program supports video recording, picture in picture, changing, changing the, the audio. audio, as you can hear. So pretty much all you need as a beginner is in this editing program. The other thing I really love is that there's endless video effects, transitions, filters that can really make your video unique. And just to show you grains what I can do with this part. <laughs> So for those of you who are ready to start your YouTube journey, check the link in the description box below for a free download of Filmora 9. Yes, you heard. It's free. And see whether or not this YouTube journey is going to take you where you want it to go. Thank you again to Filmora 9 for sponsoring this video. All right, so I think all we have to do, this is really thick, Can by the way. Can you just squirt the cream? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, no. Is it confectioner sugar? Oh no. Oh, interesting. I, I, I don't say anything yet. So here. There we go. All right, next tier, put it in. Oh, it's so fluffy. Oh, you could see it change to pink. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that gradient. Oh, mama. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you struggling? There you go. Now you want to get the sprinkles ready? Um, okay. It's open. Okay, <laughs> that's a good thing you told me. Freaking sprinkles are Whoa, there. watch your mouth. You're watching. Say a bad word. You're handling sprinkles. Well, that is cute. I have three different colored hearts. She's standing up. It's getting uh, serious. No. <gasps> You're off camera, but we can still hear you. You're so small. She's so into it. <laughs> It got stuck on your finger. <laughs> the cream is so thick. Oh, cute. Should we eat it first or do the other stuff? Are, are you putting more sprinkles? There. The cream is so thick, it's just like, it's almost like static holding it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this away. Now for the little cup, they want us to put little tiny bits of wafer inside just so that it's more fluffy because apparently, I don't know if we're I not gonna, we're gonna have... I guess we're gonna have enough, maybe. My guess is we're gonna have enough cream, but we're gonna do it anyways. How, do, how are we supposed to do it? <gasps> don't hurt her! I almost <laughs> dropped the box on the wafer. Okay. Uh -oh. It's hollow? Yeah. Okay. Let's try. So we're gonna do this. It's so thick. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I could do it hollow. And then this? Yeah, it's all round. That's a little, a little too much sugar. That's well, good enough? Okay. Okay. Go ahead and, and do your thing, girl. She's she's in her element right now. Okay, that's enough. Okay. And last but not least, we have our ice cream cones. Since we can't put them down anywhere, we figure this is the last one we should do. So, Sika, you can... Can I squirt my own? You can squirt your own. Squirt your heart out, little girl. What? You're, you're very far. <laughs> Go for it. Jesus, it's gonna be too much. Oh, help! What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is the sorry excuse of the ice cream? <laughs> all right, let me show you. Let me show you how it's done, all right? Okay, show me. Okay, just let me see it again. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. No, no, no. I'm ready. It's no no joking here. Okay? 
I mean, we can joke. <laughs> All right, so let's start. Okay, you're feeling your whole bottom. Well, I mean, you have to. I didn't want to, like, not give you enough cream. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going to slap it out of your hand. Like, no. <laughs> try again. There. Is there still enough cream? Oh, wow, that's not sorry. There's a lot of cream. Okay. Oh, this is not sorry. Okay, Pretty you grains are going to have to vote. Let me put my sprinkles. Look at mine. Oh, shh. Schmutz. What? Again? Girl? I, I, I kind of accidentally dropped all this. What are you doing? Are you one upping me right yeah, now? I am one Are you one upping me? Look Hang at on. this babe. Wow. I'm sexy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you have a small cone. Not enough cream in there. <laughs> you know, did you finish all the cream? No, I didn't. Fine, let me one up you. All right, so here is mine Mine's on the chunk. side and hers you can see Sika's hands. Let us know in the comment section below whose ice cream is not <gasps> <laughs> Mine's better. <laughs> Bigger doesn't mean better. Mm-hmm. Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Let us know, Grains. Vote. <laughs> Why did you desecrate mine? You ready to eat it? You want it? the cream back? No. <laughs> no. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Well, you've been- you haven't stopped eating. <laughs> <laughs> she legitimately hasn't stopped eating since we made this kit. <laughs> Are you ready to take another- I haven't tried it yet. It tastes like the other one, but with strawberry with it, too. You're- you're kind of away from- the get closer. You're scared of me now that you took all my stuff? No, I'm not scared of you. <laughs> Why would I ever be scared of you? Come on now. That's a scary one out of both of us. <laughs> I'm more intimidating than you are. I am the creature of doom. Ready? Yes. Oh, wow. It's an actual cone. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? Mmm. Mm. I like the vanilla on its own. The strawberry is meh. So all together, the cone with the vanilla and the strawberry is actually not bad, but it's not that great either. There really isn't that much of a variety in terms of the flavor. I think we should have made them separately. And is it me or the sprinkles kind of dissolve? They, they kind of dissolve. They do. So Except it's... for the heart. The heart was really, really like a huge crunch for me. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a real cone. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want this one? Sure. I'll take Oops. a bite of this. Okay, okay. ready? Uh-huh. Mm. It all tastes the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, did this kit keep us busy? Yeah. It's still chewing. <laughs> it's just I'm getting all the sprinkles and it's crunching and things are not No, like one thing crunches. What? So Can you speak, please? Enunciate. Uh, crunchy, gaggy. Gaggy? <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> So the question is, did this kit keep us busy? Yeah. yeah. Were the flavors as good as the first one? Meh. No. What? Meh. Meh. Okay. Meh. <laughs> so for me personally, even though this is $3, if you do see it for $3, totally worth it. Totally worth it. If yeah. you see it for $6, mm, the first one's more worth $6 than this one is though. Definitely. But it still definitely is. Did you say definitely? <laughs> no. I heard definitely. Play that back. Oh. Definitely. So for us, this one definitely is <laughs> worth your <laughs> cash. <laughs> It's skimming me. I know. All right, we need to clean up here for the next one. That's not cleaning up, honey. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that's, I can do this. <laughs> Our third kit. What the heck is what I'm calling it. Okay. What the heck, Japan. Okay. From the looks of it, it seems like one of those Play-Doh toys where you put in the candy and just it squirts out. I don't know. I haven't tried this before. But can these we dolls. Give it a haircut. We can give it a haircut. Apparently, it comes with scissors. Okay. Candy scissors. Ah. Well, not the, the scissors aren't candy. You oh, don't eat I them. Can't. Oh. No, no, no. I knew. I saw the sparkle in your eye. Let's rewind. And then no, no, you can't eat the scissors. You said? Mm -hmm. Are you upset with me? It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, it's, it's all of Japan. It's all of Japan. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try this. I still think those dolls are freaky. There's a there's a fine line between cute and creepy. I think this kit has been passed. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely crossed that line. So Alright, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Oh my gosh. Here's what we get inside. Four taffy type candies. They smell pretty sugary. We get stickers for our figure. Our figure. Why are you laughing? Because it looks like something else. Our scissors. Go on. Okay. We also get some silvery candies. And that's it. That's it. So since this has been in my closet since November, they said that if the candies are actually hard, yeah, all we have to do is put them in a Ziploc, like gusto, and put them in lukewarm water for just a couple of minutes. Voila. So while our candy is slightly melting, we're going to go ahead and decorate our figure. You mean- Oh my god! Girl! Oh my god. 
Do we decorate it? Mm-hmm. Oh, look. Mm. It's got a longer feature. So we went ahead and decorated that figure pretty much similarly to the one at the front of the box. My guess is that this is probably a surprise and depending on which box you get, you might get a different type of doll. Or as Sika calls it. Oh my god. <laughs> With many holes. And <laughs> Alright, so our toffee candy is actually done. So we're going to unwrap. Put it on the inside. I think it's one at a time. Is it? I thought we could have put them in like sideways. Can you? Well, you can, but we can push it in like this. Look. Okay, go for it. You good? Yeah. Uh, do you want to squeeze it or do I squeeze it? I'll squeeze it. Okay. I know how this works. Oh no! <laughs> Child! Ready? Yeah, let's see how it's gonna be. And she's standing up. You know stuff's getting real. Can you see her? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go on! Damn. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Yep. So I don't see this kit being for smaller hands. Okay, let me try. I can't see anything. <laughs> Jesus. Let's try this. Oh no. It's very hard to push out, actually. It is really difficult to push out. <laughs> She's just gonna have a short hairdo, okay? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> that's why Maybe I was putting that's all why my they weight. wanted one at a time. <laughs> Do you want me to take over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is really tough. Even though the candies were actually pretty soft to the touch. <laughs> yeah, my guess is this is... It smells nice. Okay, maybe not. That's enough. <laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> yeah, this is way too difficult. Yeah, this is way- I think you were too ambitious putting two in there. Oh. <laughs> is it all the way through? Yeah, it is. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's still coming up. Okay. Oh, you're getting some blue though. Yeah. Let's keep pushing. Damn. I'm tight. <laughs> My thumb hurts. <laughs> yeah, mine hurts too. She's got blue roots. <laughs> she needs to re-dye her hair. It's Are quarantine. You... Okay, that's it. <laughs> it's quarantine. <laughs> it's quarantine here. <laughs> okay, I think that's good enough. Look, she's still coming up though. Hmm. I think we could get more, but uh... I think that's enough. <laughs> Look at my hands. Oh, <laughs> yeah, mine too. So this is this is the scars, the battle scars you get <laughs> from pushing this thing. So here's what it looks like. Let me remind you. <laughs> her hair looks a lot more full and darker there too. Right. So her hair color is and darker. Is much darker, and the amount that's coming out is way fuller. So I... it feels like the holes here. There's more of them probably. Yeah. This kind of looks like what happens to my hair when it grows. So it's very dis. Look at that. <laughs> That's disappointing, and this kit was two dollars. Not three dollars, it was two dollars. All right, you want to taste it? Oh, Do you want to give her one of these? No, I don't want a crunchy thing. It... They're not even sticking. <laughs> and now my room is full of... Full, full, full of... Full of things. Wow, these are really dry. They're very dry, you ready? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Not bad, this one. Mm -mm. The taffy is not that bad. I don't like the soda one. Mm -hmm. But overall, very dry. For $2, just pay one more dollar and you're getting the one that has so many activities. For me, this is actually pretty disappointing. It's mediocre. Very mediocre. We don't even get to use the scissors because it's not that great. So this was pretty quick. I think for us, this kit definitely goes in the trash. Next we have mystery. Mm-hmm. Crap food kit? The reason I picked up this kit is because it seemed like a chemistry set at the same time as a food kit. Just by looking at the back, it seems like we can mix two different colored powders and it's going to give you another color. It probably tastes gross though. I'm thinking, I'm like, is it savory or is it sweet? It's gonna be sweet, but probably overly sweet. Only one way to find out. Time to see. Wait, where's it? Where'd you go? Okay. <laughs> time to see what we get inside this kit. <laughs> That's also crazy. Mm -hmm. Here's what we get inside. Mystery packets that they call Neru Neru and some kind of different flavored sauces. Molds. Oh, that is so cute. The monster there. Oh, I love this one. It's got no eye. It's got a witch hat. Ooh. A mixing spun. Spun. And that's it. That's it. So according to the instructions, we're going to take the grape packet, add one scoop, scoopy thing of water and mix it. Then we're taking the Nerune, I'm not sure what it is, don't ask, and putting it on the left monster and adding one cup, again, scoopy of water. Oh, that is weird. Oh, oh, that is weird. Oh, wow. It's like a gloopy, goopy. Oh, interesting. Now that we have this purpley mix, we're supposed to mix this one in there. I have no idea what's gonna happen. We don't need any water. We're just supposed to put it there. You got oh, it? It's so gloopy. It is very gloopy. Okay, there. Oh my gosh. It's so thick. Yeah, it's very thick. 
Oh, oh wow. Oh, that is insane. So it went from a deep purple to a pinkish purple. It's like li li lilac, lilac. Lilac. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Now we're going to be taking the yellow packet and putting the greenish one to see what color they're going to change to. All right, now to see what color this is going to turn into and, Ooh. oh. It's gonna be like green probably. My guess is green. It only makes sense. And, Ye yes, there we go. And it's getting fluffy. I don't know if you guys saw the purple one over there, but it's getting super, oh my gosh. Look at that. It's like whipped cream almost. Yeah, I was about to say kind of like a, an ice cream float. Cool whip. Cool whip. Like a, oh wow, it's just getting thicker. Nice. And now we can put some sprinkles. So at this point, the idea is to take your gloopy mix, kind of like this, and dip it into the, what's it called? What was it? Grape. Grape. I forgot. Dip it into the grape, and you get a kind of weird looking treat, I guess. Do you want to try first? Um, okay. Am I eating the whole thing? Eat the whole thing. Okay. Well, it's it, like soury. It is very sour. Hang on, I'm you took the, hang on. Did I give you the green or the purple? I'm gonna try the green one too. You don't look very happy. I don't like it. Oh, you see what I mean? Oh, oh, it's foamy. Yeah, I don't like it. It's sour and foamy. And foamy, but it's fun. It's fun. It's not unpleasant, unpleasant. No, it's just weird. It's very weird. Let me try the purple. I feel one. like it's like fizzing on my tongue still. It's very fizzy. Is the purple better? Mm, no. Mm, it's about the same. I find the purple's a little less bad. I don't like how it fizzes though. Can you guess how much this kit cost me? Two dollars? 78 cents. Wow. So for a color change fizzy 78 cent kit, it's pretty worth it. It's pretty worth it. It's weird, but it's kind it's of interesting, like- though. Yeah, it's almost like trying sour candy mm. for the first time. You're like, oh, gross, but you keep going back for it. Yeah. <laughs> that kind. <laughs> So for 78 cents, this kit definitely is weird. But it's worth your cash. But it's definitely worth, worth your, your cash. Worth your cash. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below which kit would you definitely get. I still first think- one is the best. Oh, the first one still has a special It has my heart. heart. <laughs> get out of my head. No, make me. It's comfortable in there. <laughs> Everyone loves staying in there. I invite you all to come take a space in my cozy head. Hey you! Do you sometimes feel brokened? So brokened. You green spoke and we listened. We created a broken but beautiful design. The reason we created this design is to promote self-love for those of us who are living with chronic illnesses and trying to better our mental health. Listen, we're not saying you're broken, but sometimes we do feel that way. But just know that even though you do feel that way, you are still very beautiful. And we love you, Grace. We love you. So if you're interested, we will leave the links in the description box below. We just launched these designs, so we're also still waiting for our copies. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash Japanese edition, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check down here. Today's shoutouts go to Hana Jade 2000, Goddess Silver Rose, and Purnima. Remember, if you want a shoutout, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anytime with any of your creations. And if you want to find Sika, you can find me on Instagram at NerdySister underscore Sika. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.